Happy Tuesday, everyone. Sorry, it's a little bit loud. She's getting snacks right now. But I gotta go outside. It's actually, I think the sun's going down soon. I don't know. It's getting a little dark out. But I do have to mow the lawn, so we're gonna do that first. I might cook on camera for you guys. We might do a HelloFresh idea. I think we might do Wonder Burgers today. I don't know. Let's just head out, I guess. Yeah. Are you yeah. sure you don't want me to do the dishes? Yeah, I'm sure. Because you got to come out here and hang out with me and help me move stuff around a little bit because we got a lot more stuff than we used to. Oh, gosh. There's spider webs everywhere. There's like a ridiculous amount of spider webs everywhere around our house now. Is there spider webs on this? We haven't cut the lawn in quite some time because it was before we even went camping. Probably about two weeks we haven't cut our lawn at all because like it's been raining or we just have been busy. We have some new neighbors, I guess you could say. Grasshoppers have called our lawn home. Crickets. It's Crickets? Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are gross and big. Okay. Crickets are tiny, so little lizards can eat them. Okay. So here are all our new friends. And if you don't know what I mean, they're the the little black specks that you see all over. They're all over this paneling that just is out in our lawn now, but man, there's so many over here. You saw them coming out of the lawn? Yeah, so when you were when you were mowing the lawn, yep. like they were all just like migrating towards the, the panel. Abby really wants me to sell them. I don't know why, apparently they're worth money. But yeah, as of right now, got a weed whack. Here we are. Oh my gosh. And the cord. <laughs> Oh, okay, gonna start in the backyard then move to the front yard and again This hasn't been done in a couple of weeks So we have a couple of weeks of weeds to kind of get rid of and especially especially on this side Yeah, it's not looking so good gotta trim that up a little bit So I'm gonna hand Abby the camera if you want to cut and then uh, we'll see you guys after I'm done And then we might start cooking. I don't know. What do you want to do cook? All right, we'll cook then Cut. All right, I wiped my sweat off so I'm not so disgusting, but I finished up the lawn. She's fin did she finish up the dishes? Mm -hmm. She finished the dishes. Currently just cleaning up a little bit. So you guys might just be hanging out with us while we do stuff. And it may not be the best quality video, but I mean, it's gonna be something. It's at least something. It's at least something. One more time. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> It's at least something. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. I moved the majority of the stuff back into the backyard, but I didn't move the chairs yet, so I'm leaving that up to Abby. I gotta clean up the living room, so that that's cool. I'm doing that. Oh, okay. She's, she's doing that too. You did the entire lawn, so... I don't think that's really fair. Okay, sure. Yeah, I did the lawn, so it's even, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> jump cut to whatever we're doing next. I don't know. We're gonna have to think about it for a little bit, so it might just be us cooking, so jump cut to that. I think I'm in trouble, guys. <laughs> Abby wants me to help her clean up the bedroom, because apparently, apparently, my side's a little dirtier than hers. And uh, if you don't know what I mean, I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek on what she's uh, complaining about, I guess. Oh, look at that, Abby. Look what you got beside the bed. You got a water. Oh, you can't really even see it. You got a water bottle. Oh my God, focus. Do anything. Yeah, you got a water bottle. Where are you? For drinking water. What do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say for yourself? Mine's not dirty. My side's not dirty. Let's look at your side, hmm? Perfectly clean. Oh my God. Don't don't go over there. It's okay. <laughs> stay stay back. I like having drinks when I go to bed. Not like I don't not alcohol. Oh, speaking of alcohol, where's the bottle? Is that downstairs? I wanted to show you guys this. For all you Buffalo people, if you've ever been to like a Bison's game, which is the affiliate team for the Toronto Blue Jays, there's a guy that goes around the stands like selling like beer, peanuts, all that stuff, named Conehead. And for those that don't know, this is what he looks like. I got a collector's edition beer can, features him, and it has like all the statistics about him. He's been vending for 50 years, 7,000 games, over 1.5 million beers vended. Jersey number is 80 or 79, so that's really cool. I just wanted to show you guys that because I didn't show it in yesterday's video, but I did not want it to go unrecognized because I think that's a really cool thing. Of course, I don't drink, so I mean, I'm not gonna be drinking it, but I'm gonna be putting it on a shelf because I love that kind of stuff. So, oh, you're already cleaning it out. Wait, did you do my side? No, you gotta do my side. All right, I'll do my side. It's not that bad. It's just a lot of bottles and some- So you they're... reach under the bed. I'll see you guys soon. So as I just got done saying, there's absolutely nothing on my side. I don't understand why she's complaining. Like, look, that's perfectly clean. I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> An unopened Arizona. How rare. Last Saturday. Friday? Saturday. Saturday. 
Okay, so on Saturday, like a few days ago Saturday, we stopped at her workplace and I didn't know they just got done mopping. So I kind of was just walking around doing whatever I wanted to do. Not in a bad way, but I cut around a corner. Again, not knowing that they just mopped or that like my shoes does absolutely nothing when it comes to wet floors. We're suing you, babe. I slipped so hard. People in the next room probably heard a huge bang. I'm not a big guy, but like, <laughs> it's like a good like 200 plus pounds of mass of meat and muscle. So slamming down on the ground, all on my elbow. And I didn't take pictures of it right after it happened because honestly, I think I was a little concussed. I felt pretty good, so I didn't go to the hospital. I but was going to take him. But I felt a little bit nervous because I'm like, what if I need stitches? What if I, whatever the case may be. So as of right now, and it's not bad, don't even worry about it, but um, as of right now, this is what it looks like. Doesn't look bad at all. But I'll, I, I will tell you right now, I didn't say this to her because I, if I said this to her, we would have gone to the hospital. I'm pretty sure I saw my bone. I'm like 90% sure I saw my bone. Can't put any pressure on it whatsoever so it still hurts really bad obviously when i opened it it literally split into three it was really like a triangle cut so it was like like boom boom like this was like cut I, I don't know how to explain it so that's why i couldn't sleep pretty much because i had to keep reminding myself to keep my arm perfectly straight graphic warning i felt it opening up i'm doing better it's not i didn't really even talk about this i don't know why i took this long especially being a youtuber like this is like the clickbait i should have used oh no it wasn't saturday it was gonna be in the vlog was it thursday no it was saturday why did I record on Saturday though? No, cause it was- It was Thursday! I feel like the more we had the idea of cooking, the more we realized how much is going wrong. Cause like half the stuff has actually gone bad. Oh, it, it was the arugula. The arugula went bad? That looks gross. Option B was just ordering from Applebee's or Chili's, but I don't know. We still want the challenge of cooking ourselves. Italian pepper steak sandos with melty mozzarella and roasted potato wedges. So that could be still an option. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Pretty much half the ingredients have gone bad, so unfortunately that's the reality right now, but I think we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think, <laughs> my face, I think we're okay. I was hungry. I was looking forward to this. We found out the mushrooms went bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's what happens when you order HelloFresh and then you wait three weeks to cook the food. That's what happens. I found a very weird sound Abby absolutely hates and I finally unlocked a new anger. Stop. 